right to it try and accept the challenge we got uh, ourselves an FM as far as I can see Dr. Boki somebody suggested to me that I should try the green chessboard looks doesn't look like a chessboard it looks like a football field to me but hmm. anyway that's the way it is trying the King's Gambit Really shouldn't try this at home or away. That's all I can say. But d4, I think black should give a check on h4 or play d5. g5 looks like a really dubious move since it's now get h4. And what I'm doing could actually make a whole lot of sense. d5 now. Well, that is nothing if not sensible. Take Queen G5, I suppose. D E Bishop F4 looks good for me. Apparently Dr. Boki has another opinion. It's a German or right he or she, I don't know. Let me see knight c3 looks nice. If knight d4, I get knight b5. No, sorry, bishop b5. But here maybe I have knight. Uh, b5 or d5 and uh, this is not the board that they meant that's the message that's taking in so another little goof from uh, tech magnus it's not what i do best i move these little pieces around on a wooden or sometimes uh, grassy chessboard but the tech tech stuff, I don't know. Nah, I'm gonna keep this board. I like this board. Bishop d6, that is quite ingenious. Point if point is if takes takes queen g3 is a serious threat, and uh, it's not so clear how I'm gonna deal with that. So the doctor may have found a cure for uh, his immediate problems. Well, I guess I'll just develop then. Position still should be very, very good. Knight e5, I get bishop b5 check. Bishop d7 at the very least drops e4. Although I may be looking for something more. Um, something along the lines of queen d4. If I didn't mention it already, by the way, I'm going to keep the football board at least for a little while. I mean, why not? So, king f8, long castles, I guess. Bishop e2 takes away the best square for the knight on, on g1, but I'm not too worried about it. G4 looks very good. If bishop g6, queen d4 should be huge. Yeah. Maybe he could have taken on g4. But he didn't do that. Now I think I'm just winning. I don't see how we can protect uh, that knight on e5. c5 or c6 is simply met by dc and the. Uh, and uh, the and the bishop is hanging on on d6. Knight d3 looks like it might save black, but I simply go king b1, and then h8 is threatened, and uh, the knight on d3 is also threatened. So I think he loses a piece. Ah, he has this and knight g8. Damn it! I didn't see that. Oh boy. That is a massive blow. So I could go knight h3, but I don't like that at all. Takes queen g5, it looks like he has serious counterplay with uh, all sorts of stuff coming. So I guess I gotta take, get the queen out. Also if queen g5 instead of taking, that was queen g7 followed by knight e4. Because of... Um, 
uh, yeah, the queen would be pinned. But yeah, I still have uh, a huge advantage here. Knight e7, I got queen d7, so the queen is not trapped. Uh, that is, if you hadn't uh, taken first. And he resigned because his time was running out. Okay, you might like fight like minus. I absolutely agree. Uh, I like fight like minus. Oh no, now I did scroll. I was told not to scroll. Ugh. Old bad habits die hard. Okay, this is going to be a tough start. We got ourselves a Grandmaster now. Genova. Sasa Martinovic. I played him before, no? I'm not supposed to play people I've played before. Okay. Knight of six is a good reply to one. D4, E6, E4. Take it. Knight of three, huh? Okay. G5. It's one of those positions where I think Sing an early G5 can actually be justified. Now I go D6. And uh, let's grab some space. H5. Next, I would probably want to go knight c6, e5. Not to worry about knight b5. Now e5, d5, knight e7. Bishop b5, probably just going to go king d8. Also, after knight d5, b5, I'm going king d8. Uh, right or wrong, I'm not so worried about losing the right to castle. Because I still have plenty of other rights. Okay. Castles. That is one brave decision. He does not care about the pawn. Well, I do. So I'm going to take it. And I'll take another one. Once again, don't try this at home. The usual disclaimer. Ah, he had knight d5. <laughs> that was a bit of an embarrassing miss on my part. I think after knight d5, I would have been in, been in some trouble. But now I'm more happy. Bishop h6 comes with tempo. And I feel like I should be doing fine. Probably, objectively speaking, not too great, but in a practical game, all looks pretty, pretty nice. Bishop b5, I got king d7, trapping the knight. And if rook c1, I can first of all take it and then rook c8 later on. Uh, the knight is still not escaping. All looks quite promising at the moment. He has queen a4 then, though. Might not be too clear. Okay. Take the knight. No reason not to. Queen c5 is an issue. Maybe there is reason not to. Queen e5? Can I do that? Rook d5? Is that dangerous? I take it. No, I don't think that's dangerous. It always worries me a bit, though, to play such moves. Oh, wait a second, I have queen c5, I just have bishop f4, no? Yeah, should be good. Yeah. That's all good. Just not to go queen c5, queen e5. Because he takes it, and it's a double pin, so I lose everything. At least my queen. Yeah, rook d5, king e7 looks nice. He could take on h5, but then I go rook c8, and I think I'll soon be taking over. Should be noted that also with my pawns in h5 and g4, his king isn't quite as safe as, as it may look. Yeah, but this doesn't work. I just take on d5. E d5, rook d8, and he has no threats. King f8 coming next, and I'm a bishop up. 
and the game will be over pretty soon. Take b2. Um, yeah, exchange rooks, why not? Take it, king is escaping easily. And no worries in the world. And he resigned. Well, I have to say that was a, that was a fun game. Absolutely a fun game. Okay. So let me try this one. Mikhail Politska from Slovakia. Don't think I've played that guy before. So C5, let's try and play something a bit unusual. The B6 Sicilian. Mm, he goes to bishop c4, he doesn't care about b6. Just wants to play his system. Which he is absolutely allowed to do. It's not a bad strategy. Queen e2, go knight f6. Always nice to develop with tempo. I'm not so crazy about his queen e2 move. Would have preferred d3 immediately. In the openings, it's often a good idea to make the moves you're sure you're gonna make first like d3 and then you don't know whether you want to put the queen on on e2 or not or whether you may want to uh, to put the rook on on the e-file instead for instance maybe the queen is never going to uh, uh, to e2 at all so both moves look nice, but let me try e d. I don't know exactly why. I felt like knight d five was the most natural one with, uh, I think, um, a slight advantage. This one I'm a bit less sure about, but felt like trying something else. Next, I'm looking at ideas of uh, h six and then. Um, all that stuff. So d4, I'm not so sure about that one. I think I'll take it. Maybe it's not as stupid as it looks. But all due to respect to my opponent, I think it does look pretty stupid. So, yeah, bishop a4 is nice. Huh. Okay, let me try h6. If he takes, I take back and protect the pawn with, with tempo. Is always something you want to do, and I cannot really see a way to to get an initiative here. So maybe his concept was pretty good. Rookie eight. In case of bishop c6, bishop c6, knight d4. I was planning bishop c5, hitting the queen with tempo. He would still go queen d3 and be be okay but I had to do something so that's what I was planning to do let me see not sure I like my position here I think Michal Palitska has been doing very well so far okay 94 why not The guy's rated 1800 and he pl probably has a better position against me now. I don't like that. I want to win. And uh, not only does he have a good position, his position is also very safe. So a lot of danger signs for me here. But. Worse comes to worse, I guess I'll try and flag him. Don't think he should have uh, exchanged that one. I believe there's st still something 
to the good knight versus uh, bad bishop theory. Although bishops are usually better, even sometimes better than supposedly good knights, but yeah, I think in this case it may have been a good knight against the bad bishop. So now my my position is a bit better. A three, I got d four. I'm maybe gaining some initiative now. Oh, queen c four, I didn't see that. Huh. Yeah, I guess I'll take it. Rook e two. Rook c1, I go d3. B4, I take on c2. And c4 is hanging, so. I'm winning a pawn. Knight to uh, a4, probably. c3 later on. d3 is running. And um, yeah, winning. But it wasn't easy. By any means. This guy played extremely well. I have to. Uh, I have to say, now I'm winning everything. Knight is hanging on d6 with check. I'm getting the rook. And that's just way too much material. But anyway, good game. And uh, played so much better than, uh, than his rating. Okay, let me try another three minute game. Against, this time against Somebody from Poland, I'm not gonna pronounce his or her name, because I don't know how to do that. Let me try a flank opening. Playing out from the back in football terms. So this is how Jubava usually plays. Then you, you play b3, you play bishop b2, and then you start pushing stuff on the on the king side as far as i know but how how does he do it h3 it looks really stupid Yeah, I'm gonna try and be a bit provocative here. Usual disclaimer, don't try this at your friend's house. H6 was uh, perhaps a bit slow. Maybe he should have uh, tried something else there. Because now I got kind of a pleasant position. This I like and Believe it or not, I may actually be getting a positional advantage. I think I'm not going to take on g6 anytime soon. I feel like that knight on e5 is, uh, is going to be pretty good. So no need to uh, to rid him of his, uh, his potentially out of play bishop. If he goes knight e4 now, I think I'm going to go h4. Also... Yeah, I was wondering about queen f3, but that looks a bit too fancy. Queen b6, knight c3, developing with tempo. Not developing with tempo, but protecting a piece and developing. So, that's kind of developing with tempo, no? It's probably stretching the term a bit, but anyway. Now I get to take knight a4, guess d3 next, and I feel very good about my position. Yeah, queen b5. Problem is that it's all his moves are very decent, but it's hard to see them connected with uh, a plan. And uh, now he is losing a pawn which unless I'm missing something should be fairly bad news for him now the question is should I go c4 first to prevent him from going c4 himself and maybe getting some kind of activity I don't really think I should but I'll do it anyway just for fun 
Ooh. BC4, I'm not sure I like. Maybe I could have gone BC4 actually. Actually, then later E4 to shut out this bishop, because now his bishop does have some life. Rook D8. Not sure why he didn't just go castle. But yeah. Knight B6, I got knight C5. Don't think there is a refutation here. Bishop f6, starting to look juicy. Roll the bishop e5 first. I think bishop f6 at this point. Yeah, I'll go bishop f6 now. Um, he has no moves with the rook along the d-file. Rook d6, drops an exchange to bishop e5. Perhaps still, that was still his... His best chance what he did so wouldn't say he had any any options like rook c8 long castles looked pretty horrible and resigns okay on to the next one okay let me try a young norwegian grandmaster fortunately fortunately i got white in this game Johan Sebastian, who I'm, uh, I think is on a training camp now with uh, uh, another young, promising grandmaster who should, whose anonymity I'm going to uh, to keep. Let me see, g6, he's playing very quickly. Wow, that's what he's doing. d4. Kind of like my position now. I feel like I may actually have chances of coming out of this with, with some opening initiative, which is not a given when you play this opening. Yeah, ninety five. Why not? Take an e5, rook c1, I guess. Maybe rook c1 was unnecessary. Yeah, queen c2, you can go c6. So that whole plan was was a bit dumb. So simply bishop e2 looks better. I think in case of e4, I can just take g7, ef, bishop f8, fe2, queen e. Sorry, bishop e7. I think I end up material up there. So he decided to um, prepare e4 instead, which obviously makes a lot of sense. I'm just going to castle with e4, knight d4. Bishop f5. Why didn't he go bishop f5 immediately if that was his idea? No need to. Uh, I have such a nice position now. What should I do? Knight d2 is possible. Queen d2 is possible. I'm sure other moves that don't touch the d2 square are possible. Bishop b5 is an option though. But I'm not so sure whether I want to allow c6 and just uh, uh, simplif some simplification of the position. But yeah, I should play faster. All of this time spent talking could come back to bite me later. Playing against a young and fast opponent. Should I go d6? Nah, just go rook d1. I'm not so sure I got the maximum out of this by any means. You can take knight c6 next. It's maybe not so bad. Yeah, I've clearly spent too much time talking and too little time thinking. Queen c5, I'm trying to bail out now. Hopefully get a slightly better ending. e4, I got knight d4, so I'm not too worried about that one. But yeah, my, my play for sure fails to convince at this point. 
He did this quite cleverly. Oh boy. I don't like this. I gotta play faster, I'm completely frozen. Take. Oh, this is terrible. Now I'm actually worse. I gotta give up a pawn. Wow. This is major trouble. Am I just gonna lose this guy? No. H5, good move. This is not good. sure this was a good idea. Rook c7 is coming. Now I'm objectively fine, but I've got trouble on time. I'm not sure this was, was a great idea. I'm trying to, I don't know what. Okay. At least the pawn is running. King f6 next. I'm gonna queen the pawn. Ooh. Ooh, I expected king d6 for some reason. Okay, pawn is queening. Bishop f3, I got rook. Okay, I'm not gonna lose. Ah, bishop c4, that was that was dirty. Okay, I'm still trying to flag him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not happy about that one. I played like an an old patzer. An old retired grandmaster. That's what I what I did in that game. I'm really quite ashamed. Hmm. Okay. Let me try another fairly high rated opponent. This time without a title. Somebody from Israel. Wow. Okay. Let me try the Scandinavian. Knight is free. Guess I gotta go bishop g4 then. Okay, let me <laughs> do this just for the kicks. This is a really bad line. D3. So, I mean, the point here is usually that you go knight f6 and sack the. Yeah, you sack the bishop, but it doesn't work. If he knows what he's doing. But you can always hope that he doesn't know what he's doing. And that's what I'm banking on. Yeah, knight h4 is good, but f5. And. The game is not over quite yet. I get knight d4, then g5 is an issue, bishop b7 is a threat, knight f3 may be a threat. Yeah, bishop b7 now. c3 comes, but I get knight f3 still. I would not particularly want to be in his shoes even though he's uh even though he's uh what is it it's uh, a bish no it's a knight up even though he's a knight up and probably objectively 
winning. But now I got g4 and as far as I can see, I just need to get something to h6. Well, a rook to h6 and uh, I'll win the game. The question is, can it be done? That's really, it's an interesting position in the sense that it's all about one thing. Can I mate? Can I get the rook to h6? Then I'm winning, otherwise I'm a knight down and I'm lost. Rook d3, obviously opening up for the, the bishop. And uh, so how am I going to achieve my goal? That's the question. How am I going to do this? Maybe just bishop f8 to h6? d5 is coming. Ugh, I don't like that. Huh. Where are my ideas? I, I wanted also rook f8 to f4. But that doesn't work as a d5. If only I had some imagination. I actually don't see it. It's just, which is a pity. Bishop f8, d5. Yeah, I have nothing there. Okay. Guess I'll switch to some kind of flagging mode then. But I'm not sure I believe in it. H4 is coming, but he's winning, of course. But that doesn't mean that he'll win the game. There is still, I think, serious, serious question about the outcome of this game. Now HG is a serious threat. And this one, I guess I'll take HG. I'm just hoping for the best. I think D7 simply wins. This I'm not so sure about. Maybe mating now. D7 is always king. Eight now queen h3. Wow, that was such a mess. <laughs> Good game, sir. That was not not easy. Okay. Let me try something which I hope will be a bit easier. Caballo Rengo from Argentina. Oh, it's pretty early in Argentina, no? I think it should be. Okay. A6? That's highly surprising. Oh. You gotta think before I think about what my last move was about before you make a move. Because, yeah, he wanted a6 because he wanted bishop c5 and bishop a7 later on, but when a pawn on e5 is hanging, it's usually a good idea to protect it. Because now I am just a pawn up with uh, 
a winning position. Wow. And that's the first case today of my camera falling down, which is, I think, a lot of people's favorite part. Oh. You can see something on the back of my computer. Yeah. Now you can see my my hand and soon enough you'll be able to see me as well. So he's done well after dropping the pawn, developing the pieces on good squares. Now I just wanna go bishop d3, trade some more pieces. A3. Knight c2 doesn't work, that knight is trapped. And yeah, you had to had to take, but it's not gonna help him. And I feel like it it's fairly likely that I'm gonna get the easy win that I desired. Where am I? Knight f5, I suddenly realized loses a pawn to rook h3. I have to go back. Well, that was embarrassing. But, alas, I'm still a piece up, so complain too much, I should not. Rook c2, just trying to be solid, protecting some squares along the second rank. Next I think I want to go b4, c5, perhaps to shut in his bishop. Bishop c1 could be on the cards. It's a rook. Where is it gonna go? I don't know. Rook b3, I got rook e2, hitting the rook again. And the, the sailing looks to be a plane. As far as I can see. Take back with the rook, why not? He has no threats. I gotta say this guy's been playing pretty pretty well after blundering the blundering the pawn on move four, but yeah, blundering a pawn on move four is pretty hard to come back from. Unfortunately. Well, fortunately for me. check well that's a free piece and i shall say thank you yeah not too much to comment on another fork always love that more material and uh just give me a couple seconds i feel like it's getting a bit dark so I'm gonna go turn on some lights and as I live in Norway, yeah, it's uh, not even four and it's getting dark. That's the, the reality. I wouldn't say sad reality because there are so many good, good things about this country, but it's a reality. Okay. 
guess that's a little bit better. Not really sure it is. Anyway, show must go on. Okay. Have I played Flame before? I'm not sure I have. I got another white game. Is it just me or have I gotten a lot of white games today? I think I've gotten a lot of white games. This move, I think, has been covered in Mr. Jan Gustafsson's series about offbeat openings. Basically, the gist of it is this line is not very good for whites. Black should take the pawn on g4 with a pawn up and a positional advantage. Now, however, however, taking the pawn on g5 is not recommended because h4 is going to come and that knight has no squares. And now. Yeah, my play seems to be making a lot more sense. Um, I got a nice space advantage, and although you're never too crazy about the pawn on g5, weakening your position, think still think I've got a lot of options here. h6 is a possibility. I think I'm gonna go c4. Trying to trap the knights. I'll still go c4. Just because I can. And uh, threatening to trap the knight to such an early stage looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, so castles. But now I get h4 and h6 is not really as much of an issue as it, as it would have been with the rook on, on h8. And now I can start developing my pieces with what I think is a very promising position. With um, a huge space advantage. So it's a difficult decision. Should I go knight d5 first? I don't really want to rid him of this poten potentially bad bishop on b7, but I do win a tempo. What is knight? Okay, I'll just go cd. No need to overthink things. Knight c7 now, I think e5 may just win a piece. Knight f5, d6. He does get some counterplay, but not sure if it's enough. Still e5 might win a piece. But it does get rook e8 later. Yeah. No reason to allow that. And now I think I'm gonna take what's an offer. e5 and d6 and his bishop is trapped and thus a bishop I shall win take I take back could also take an e7 but the sadistic option of uh, taking the uh, not taking the trap piece first is always quite satisfying to me yeah just take on c4 why not Now the bishop is threatening to run away, so I should take it. Should I protect e5? I guess not. Just develop. Takes, I go, I take, I don't know, knight d4. And no reason to think too much. Peace up, anything, anything goes to be a... To be honest, just bishop b3, take back. No worries in the world. Life is good when you're a piece up. An old Russian proverb. Still 
still ignoring that pawn on, on e5, looking for an attack. h5, g6. I did play g4 early on, so it's only fair that I should uh, actually use those pawns to attack at some point. To simplify, king h8. I'm going h6. Now I'm going knight f4. This guy on e6 is looking quite juicy. Yeah, let me just take it. Take the rook and he's gonna run out of time. I think queen f6 may have won here as well. Takes g7. I think there was something there, but any other move that keeps the advantage of a rook and, uh, and the knight is also not bad. So I'm gonna try again, play against the one trick pony. I feel like I've played with one trick pony before. Maybe I'm just imagining stuff. It's a good nickname. Let me see how he responds to me just copying his moves. Now I cannot copy anymore, right? I have to do something else. And I can come back to copying. Makes me so happy. Queen a5 illegal move here. Yeah. I'm a bit ashamed to be showcasing my ignorance in this line. What I do feel like intuitively is that g3 was a little too slow, allowing me to. Uh, to develop, now I can go bishop d7 to c6 or knight c6. Bishop b6. Yeah, bishop d7 looks solid. I'm not in such good shape today. I feel like I'm never in good shape for this. These things, which is, which is a shame. Probably I need to take better care of, care of myself. That's the. Uh, that's the main takeaway. Anyway, he obviously didn't take on on uh, c6 helping me with my development, so I have to take on g2. Still, knight c6 is coming, and I have now, I think, equalized the game. Which is... Not so bad. Okay, let me try and castle queen side. Make the argument that I don't know, my king is more active than this. Bishop a5 he can do, but I got knight c7, so I'm not so worried about it. But yeah. I guess I'll do this anyway. Maybe I haven't equalized. Maybe it's a little bit better. Who knows? Guess I'll take on d1. b6. Or knight a4, is that unpleasant? Maybe it's unpleasant. I gotta do this instead. But it's still a tiny bit better. Seems to be a pretty classical player this one. I think Polish players are are generally well educated. Maybe I'm making too much of a generalization here. Mm, anyway, I'm trying to centralize my pieces. 
hoping to eventually outplay him. I'm hinting at king c4 now. So I guess he will go. Yeah, this one sensible, obviously. I wanted to go knight c6, but that doesn't work because the knight. Uh, yeah, I have to go knight e6 instead. Knight c6, that was knight c3, followed by knight e4, which is also unpleasant. So this is better. Yeah, I guess I gotta start playing faster. I don't think this was too great, but ooh, I'm happy that he allows me knight g5. Pushing his king back. Now we get f4 also. Gaining some uh, some space. King goes to e4. Controlling the f. What's it called? The uh, S3 square. Why did I go? Would I? Why didn't I go for for an S3 there? I don't know. Yeah, now it's obviously quite dryish, but I'm gonna try and win it anyway. I got more time. It's something I love. There he didn't have... Ooh, that was risky. Okay, now it's a race, which I feel pretty good about. H4 and that pawn is queening. I got a check. And another check. And that's the ball game! Good stuff. So what was this one, one trick? I don't know, I still haven't figured it out. But I'm sure he's called one trick pony for a reason. Okay. The Kingslayer from Germany. I always thought the Kingslayer was, was Danish, but I may be wrong. Okay, those who have watched Banter Blitz a bit will know that this is one of my favorites. Going for the Anglo-Scandinavian. G3, I feel, is not too too critical. Like, now you can make the argument that I actually have a decent game. E4. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that was too much. That was too much. I was thinking... Uh, what was I thinking? Yeah, simply didn't work. Okay. Because you got... It's a hyper accelerated dragon, a tempo down, and I thought it make, doesn't make that much of a difference. But here, I think after queen f5 and just knight h4, one upon. But now I'm sort of fine. B3? Isn't that a tad slow? I always feel like that sort of moves begs to be met by by aggression. Okay. This is probably just blind aggression. No, you cannot do that, Kingslayer. He's really castling into it. I understand like if I didn't win immediately he might have a good position. I'm gonna enjoy it a bit. And then I'm gonna kill the Kingslayer. Thank you very much!
Not a great game, but the end was enjoyable. Okay, let me try and give somebody I played in one of the first Banter Blitzes a shout at revenge. Jordan Fanforest, who I think actually managed the Girian feat of making 11 draws out of 11 in. Uh, an Isle of Man in the Freedy Grand Swiss. He had a bunch of good positions. So I tried to play the Scandinavian, he goes knight c3. I'm gonna try and in insist on the Scandinavian. And there we go. It's always fun. I think. Let me see, a6. This is very bad, by the way. It's not recommended by any means. Now I'm also out of book. Knight c6 maybe? So usually after c6 people go knight e5, but here I'm not so sure that it is as convincing. If bishop f4 I was going to be brave, just knight d4 and ask him to show me the money. Queen d6 back, I suppose. And it doesn't look too bad. Bishop c4. Is that a good move? It's running into b5. Bishop b7. I feel like I'm getting everything with tempo now. Castles, I've got. Well, I've got b4, but then he has bishop a4, so I don't want to do that. But I got c5, which looks pretty nice. If takes, queen c6, f3, e6, and so on. Simply got an excellent position. And this one... This one is strange. I get queen e5 with tempo. Rook d8. Just like, what is he doing? I don't get this at all. Yeah, I think I'm just uh, pawn up here for fairly little, no need to on g2 or anything just e6 and i also got the positional threat of going c5 so you cannot actually protect that one so should be playing sailing from here yeah you gotta stop studying the italian jordan you gotta think a bit more about the scandinavian i guess that's the moral of the story c5, he has bishop a5, so he gets c4, c3, but it's not too helpful. Maybe it is a bit helpful. Bishop f6. Why not? If rook d6, I got bishop e5. Here I can simply go b4, I guess. Bishop to d4, h5, activating the rook, and I blundered this one? Oh my... Ugh. That is awful. I'm winning, the, I'm winning a pawn still, because he has no good square for the rook. Bishop. Rook d3 goes, I go bishop e2 and rook f1, I go bishop e2 as well. I think he should have tried rook takes d4, just sucking the exchange. Here I'm feeling like this is a bit too easy for me. 
HG D5. If BC there was uh, rook, both rook H2 and G2. Rook H1. He has to go back. No, this doesn't work. I win a piece. No, Jordan, that was a pitiful showing. That was awful. Your buddy, Johann Sebastian, did a lot better. Not good. Not good at all. Gotta study more of those Scandinavians. GM Scorpion from Spain. Don't know who this guy is. Jose Vicente Jimenez? No, don't know. He's not here, is he? That's a shame. Well, he is here. It's just keeping me waiting. Feels a bit rude. Okay, like an idiot, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go d4. Just gonna play in the style of the Grand Prix attack. Yeah, he does get the bishop, but I'm not too worried. I'm still gonna go Queen H4. I'm gonna go F5. Like a patser, you know. I know a lot of people who have played the Grand Prix attack for many years. There was this one guy who was teaching the Grand Prix attack in uh, in Norway. And uh, why do you go b5 and then knight b3? I don't get that. Like you should go when you've gone. B5, we should go A5 to force a concession. So this makes zero sense. Now I'm just better, positionally speaking. Of course, it's a bit dumb to uh, to go for such a positional uh, continuation when I'd already announced my intention of going for, for mate, but I couldn't... I can resist this one. Rook f2, and he's in really, really bad shape, positionally speaking. c3, I guess. That is 6, rook a5. Yeah, he needed to go bishop b7, uh, sorry, bishop f8 instead of a5 d4 and then maybe take but i think it was still not not too great yeah but now i'm very happy b3 why not i was deciding whether to go bishop uh, to go b4 or d4 and then I realized that why not just push b3? This looks even easier. Just gotta remember to move that bishop. Now I can go b4 or I can go d4, but I prefer b4. Knight c7. Knight d4, I guess. Taking it. This is such a nice position. Thank you, GM Scorpion, for allowing me to play kind of a model game here. Take it. Knight b3. Oh, this is so nice. This is so pretty. King g7, rook a7, bishop c8, rook a8. His bishop has no moves. Well, bishop b7, rook b8, his bishop has no moves, his rook has no moves. It's just so dead lost. 
position is so pretty. All of his pawns are on light squares with the light, light square bishops. And bishop against knight. Yeah, I like that one. Simple chess. And uh, something that is easy to, uh, to learn from. But sure he didn't have his his best day okay uh, light square by the way I should repeat as I said earlier on please exchange uh, sorry challenge me to three minute games that's the ones I will be playing because uh, I mean, games simply feel too slow for me. Even though, judging from the play or my time usage in some games, I clearly am not able to to think fast enough to to play three minutes right now. But if we did play five minutes, I would just think more, and the result I think would be equally as depressing. So there you go. Okay, now I'm just trying to grab some space, making nonsense moves. You know, your usual world champion stuff. So what should I do? C5, he's got B4, I guess just knight C6. Not too crazy about giving him the square on F4, but apparently he didn't want it. Not sure why I went bishop g4. I mean, I was thinking h3 next, but what kind of move is that? Come on, you can do better than that. Just playing for stupid tricks? No good. Am I gonna make the argument that I remove the bishop and then. And then he's got trouble developing? I don't think I can make that argument. I really don't. Knight h2. That is, at the very least, quite imaginative. I don't understand what he's doing. I feel like I'm just. Ah, oh, that's his plan. And a pretty good plan, I might add. Wow. I got blindsided by that one. Just spotting my usual nonsense, not paying attention to his moves. And believe it or not, light square does have very good control over the light squares. So, no bullshit nickname there. So what should I try and do now? Should I go for DC at some point? Try and create an attack. Just admit that positionally my game is not too great right now and play for tricks. But I can also get the knight via g6 to f4. So all is not lost. That's what I'm gonna do as fast as I can. Knight of four. Those x rays towards the rook and h5 don't look too threatening at the moment. I'm threatening some CD, sorry, DC. I was threatening. ED is so dumb. Like, I was just. It was a one move threat to rook c5, that's what I, why I did it, but I think if it just gone king b1. Uh, yeah, my position wasn't, wasn't so great after all, but yeah. Okay, anyway, he played pretty well until, of course, the very last moment, blundering the, the queen, but such things happened. 
Uh, okay, scrolling down. Fantastic star. Who is the fantastic star? <laughs> Alinez is the fantastic star. Wow. He is a fantastic star though. Trying the Scandinavian again. He's playing fast, very fast. It's unnerving. H3, really? Looks a bit dumb. G4, is that his plan? Nah. Okay, knight c6, I guess. Bishop f5. Hoping that after d5, knight b4 is a good move. e6. I don't know. Long castle. Trying to get an attack going. I can feel some... Some... Uh, Knight B, yeah, exactly. I was gonna say I was. I could feel some knight B five coming. Anyway, trying to keep calm. No need to take that knight quite yet. Yeah, G five. Let's go. Got ourselves a nice game here. A little race. The way chess used to be played, right? Ah, uh, I want to take that knight so badly. <laughs> After knight e5 was no longer an issue, it felt a lot more feasible. Knight d5, intending knight b6. I'm not so sure he's got enough. Yeah. There's b6. But then he's got c4. Yeah, maybe he does have compensation here. Bishop d3. Queen a7, I'm gonna go king d7, hope for the best. Always hope for the best. No need to, to note that this time I'm hoping for the best. Bishop g7 looks Normal. Maybe it was just bluffing. Could have gone bitch. I could have gone bitch by one. Oh my god. It's threatening mate, you dumbass. Ugh, that is annoying me. I was worried about queen a7 or an f6, but it's threatening mate. But he doesn't have anything here either. Queen a, Queen a7, King d7, and Knight e5 doesn't work because of takes, and there's a pin, but his rook is hanging, so. I think he has nothing. Now I just go f5. <laughs> oh my god, he's so tricky. Threatening rook b8, obviously. Now he really has nothing. Yeah, check, I take, knight c6, b3. So now he's turning to his other tricks, yeah, playing fast. Okay, bishop d3, why not? King e8, playing it really safe. And he resigned! Yes! It makes me so happy. Beating one of the best young players of our generation. 
very happy with that one. Okay, now the session has been a success. I can declare it, even though I didn't take the rook, that was an offer. Okay, let me try and uh, accept challenge from, uh, let me try somebody, SHK. who is apparently a stateless pirate. Wow. Okay, now I'm getting a little friskier, even uh, sacrificing a pawn. And uh, the Scandinavian, it's called the Scandinavian, where you don't take the pawn back or play knight f6 intending to win the pawn back, but instead just give up the pawn instead. That's the official name of this line. Yeah, okay, I was hoping for a trick that is so cheap that it's obviously not going to work, which was uh, h3, bishop h5, and then knight uh, mm, e5, queen h5 check, and winning, winning a piece. But yeah, that was never going to happen. He can take on e5 now. My position is just lost, obviously, but I'm hoping to somehow... Eh, I don't like taking on c6, that is such a dull solution. Okay, let me try and see if he can win the end game. Giving me a pawn? I feel like if he's giving me a pawn now, he's gonna continue to give me a pawn. So I'm gonna take it when it pleases me. Castling in the ending, not what the book suggests, but you cannot always play by the book, right? And now he's protected his pawn. Oh, wow. look at that. 95, yeah, for the rook b8 first. I feel like my position is better than it used to be. Like I have some compensation. Do, 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 rook b4, threatening a pawn. Bishop b3, b2 is hanging. Knight f3, I can go 94. Ooh, don't think he should have given up that pawn. Now I feel like I've got full compensation, or pretty much full compensation. Knight d5? Knight d4, is that an issue? Maybe it is. I don't know what I'm doing here. C3, just putting the pieces on pretty much random squares. Did I just blunder a pawn? No, I didn't. Rook B3, and if bishop G5, I got 94. Everything under control. If knight c1, then I take on a3. I'm not too unhappy. He wins them. I'm too happy either, but. Thank you very much. Knight moves going back, always the most difficult to see. Science have shown, has shown. And there we go, winning even more material. Actually, knight d5 was possible, so that wasn't technically true, but yeah. 
Now I got myself two extra pieces and mates. Yeah, sorry about that one. The idea of this is not really to show that I can win an ending. Uh, two pieces up, uh, sorry, two pawns down against somebody. So yeah, sorry about that, really. Unbreakable woman FM from Croatia. Does not want to reveal her identity. And she does not seem to want to show up for the game either. She's a bit disappointing. Please show up and show me that you're unbreakable. She's not alive, damn it. Mm. Well, gonna give it a little more time, and there she is. Alive, damn it. Nice. So, let me try one of my favorite lines, the, what's it called, the delayed Benoni? I think it's called the delayed Benoni. Now we're making it check Benoni. The point is basically that you give yourself, give yourself a worse pawn structure in thinking that you can eventually outplay your opponent because no pieces nor any pawns are exchanged very soon and you think that that should favor the the stronger player and uh, or at least the one who is best at uh, maneuvering What do I do? B6 first? Because I'm going to have to do that anyway, probably. I don't really like the fact that... Can I really go F5? Knight G5? I don't think I can. So I, go, I gotta do something else in the meantime. And... Uh, there was uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. there was h6, but that's always met by knight h4, so that's not really desirable. Nah, okay, I gotta go f5. Otherwise, what what the hell am I playing for? This one I'm not so worried about. Oh, knight f6, I should not do e f e f followed by knight e5. Okay. Queen of seven. Gotta be careful. But now at least I've got a serious idea of playing f4. So she needs to do something about that. And the camera keeps on calling down. Falling down. And I just got a message that the camera can't keep focus because it's too dark. No, it just fell down. That's why it can't keep focus. But can I keep focus? That's the question. Hmm. H6? Some really interesting complications here. Okay, let me go for it. No! No! What are you doing? I thought e6 was the point, and then I was gonna go queen f3, bishop f3, knight e5, and who knows what's gonna happen. This one is. probably just losing. Knight e5? Takes, takes. Uh, 
And queen h4 is coming next. h3, there is queen f4. And that's going to be mate. Even going to leave the board for a second. Yeah, I like that one. But I think I would have liked it even better to get uh, to get this sort of uh, queen f3 followed by knight e5. Even though I'm not sure it was objectively good for for black, that would have been that would have, would have been a lot of fun. So let me try and pick another opponent. Somebody's created the account of Play Me Magnus. That's a nice name, but you gotta go. You gotta go premium, all of you. To play, you gotta go premium. Didn't make the rules? Don't hate the player. Uh, okay. Somebody's accessing my computer now. It's a scary stuff. Okay, let me try and accept another game. Burak 28, another stateless pirate. 1e4, best by test. e6, that's an excellent move. Change French. Well, it's not the time to think, right? Gotta make your mind up in advance whether you want to take with uh, with uh, the queen or the pawn. H six, good move, preventing. Renting bishop g5, trapping the queen. Oh, I wanted to put that pawn on b4. But once again, somebody's messing with my computer. <laughs> Could be somebody from the chess24 team. But this could also be a major hacker attack. Russian spies, whatever. I don't know. Well, back to the game. Everything smo flowing quite smoothly. My attack is going to eventually crash through. And he's got no such attack to show for on on the on the king side and uh with a little counterplay king safety is uh Uh, king safety is important. Wow, king b6. Okay, I'll just be uh, a minute.
Okay, people. Sorry about all of that nonsense. Think I should be good to go again now. I'll continue for for a bit at the very least. So don't worry. Well, try to accept the last pawn standing, but I'm gonna play Abdullah Varis instead. It's gonna be interesting. E4, E5. I'm gonna play classically in this game. Not so much for Abdullah. Wow. Abdullah is really going for it. What do you play against such? D6? I don't know. Don't think I ever played face the Danish Gambit in a, in a serious or not so serious game. I have to say, I find it utterly unpleasant. Good choice of opening. It's made me think, and my reaction has not been good. Was bishop f7 possible there? I think it may have been. My idea was to go knight c5 and then bishop b6. It clearly has a lot of compensation. Key one, should be seven, I guess. D five, I'm gonna go E five, I'm gonna go D five. Now I'm closing the game and I'm happy. Happy, happy. Knight H six, developing the pieces and hopefully my two pawns up are gonna count. Not one, not two, no, sorry, not one, not three, but two. Okay. And he's thinking, it's always a good thing. Queen F, C2, I don't think was a great choice, allowing me to develop with, with tempo. It's disconnecting. Got to fix your connection, sir. Speaking from the guy who stream collapsed recently. Uh, what should I do now? Knight d4 is coming. I guess. G6. This one, I guess, is logical. into the game. It's all very, very pleasant when you're a couple of pawns up. I have to say. G4 is logical, but I'm still in complete control. Oh no, you cannot do that. You had to take it, but still an ID4. This was great for black, but... Yeah, no. Good opening choice, but he didn't didn't follow it up in the very best way. Unfortunately, Spieljunge. Have I played Spieljunge before? Yes, I have. Score one zero. Why can I never remember this stuff? It's a 
bit embarrassing. It's supposed to be, according to Chess24, the people's champion. And uh, I still act like I don't care about regular people. The jury is still out if I do, but at least I would like to pretend that I do, and I am very much regular myself. Finally, the game is on. I have three d5. b3! Wow. Is that really a good move? c5. e3. Isn't this what, like, Fabiano played recently? With black, he just won f6 against Grishuk in some rapid game. I was quite impressed by it. I don't think it was that good, but anyway, the idea was simple. That you just go for this type of position. And you claim that it's great for black. Or not. Maybe not great, but at the very least not bad. So knight d4, I'm running into g4, right? I'm not so happy about that. I'd rather keep it simple. And supposedly in all of these structures after cd, I go ed. And uh, the idea is supposed to be that knight on f3 is misplaced and black has the easier play. Whether it's true, I don't know, but in general, I would say I'm pretty happy about the outcome of the opening. a6, now preparing bishop c7, probably. Actually, come to think of it, that was not a great plan, so. Changing my mind. So he's quite logically going for b4, but it's going to be at least some time before he gets to uh, to play b5 after, well, he doesn't prepare it. But now I think I'm doing quite well. Knight g6, e5 is a is on the cards. Probably should go to a4 exactly to prevent, uh, sorry, to protect the knight so that in case of um, of some e5, bishop g6, takes, 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 everything on e5, b5 was not hanging. So clever. And also the, knight, uh, the move is useful in general. So moves that achieve two things at once are usually, well, or not, I don't know about usually, but quite often good ones. The idea now was uh, that if he had gone, ah, uh, uh, why did I allow that? Too much talking, too little thinking. So dumb. I have no queen c7. I have to take it then. Yeah, also. Knight. Really? No, I take on c5, no? The rook ad1 was, was a lot better. Why did I somehow underestimate this move? Oh boy, this is going very much south. I was going to say threatening mate, but it doesn't actually threaten mate. Okay, try and simplify. Rook d1, let me try and take the pawn. Oh. Happy to exchange more stuff. Sort of. Con 
consolidating now. Hopefully it's getting nervous, spending time, that's my hope, like, otherwise I was pretty, pretty much gonna lose some time, but, no, there is definite hope. H6. I don't know what I'm doing, but his, his knight on b5 is not impressive. Trying queen d7 and... Attacking the knight. Okay, let me try and go, try and go f4. Yeah, now his position is completely collapsing. He just blundered that one as well. It's only a question about time, but I think I'm gonna have plenty. Check, check, check. And it's gonna be mate very soon. Okay, good stuff. When I stop thinking, I do better. Like I had, I had a bad position, 20, 20 odd seconds left and he had a minute or so, and then started to play fast, and good things happened. It's always the lesson. Yeah. Uh, Jean Kobil. Apparently I'm doing Scandinavians today, so yeah, let's continue. And A6. Let's see if he has something better to come up with than Mr. Joden Fanforest. Or Alireza for that matter was also not impressive. I think he's played a bit too passively here. Now I should have a perfectly satisfactory position. Not a better position, but a satisfactory one. It's all you really can ask for, right? Hmm. Let me try some trickery. No, okay, that was nonsense. I was gonna go DC and then Queen C7 with the, with the idea of C6, Knight E5, F E5, I have Queen E5, then Bishop D4, Bishop C5. And if uh, take on B7, I would have had uh, um, something else. Taking b7, rook d8, and so on. Maybe not so clear, but yeah. I don't think it really worked. Like, you could just have gone b4 and protected the spawn there. So, I would have had to take back on uh, on uh, uh, sorry, um, c5 instead, but then I would have had to exchange queens, which I was not too crazy about. Well, here we go. I win a pawn and I have a huge positional advantage as well. So things are no. No. I actually didn't re realize that this move protects his bishop on e3. Wow. And my queen is trapped. <laughs> queen f5 loses to g4. So, yeah, I gotta give up the queen. Wow, that was not impressive. And is this guy, for all of his, his poor positional play, am I really just gonna gift him away? That is sad. I'm gonna try, of course. Ooh. 
first tiny bit of hope. And some more hope. Now this pen cannot be broken. Why is he playing so quickly and confidently? I mean, dude, you just blundered a knight. Aren't you the least bit upset about that? Okay, so... He's probably winning that pawn. I guess I can try. Rook b8, queen a7, rook e8 back, then he goes queen a4, and there's nothing I can do. Okay. I would have wanted rook a8, but then he takes it, and there's no way I can win that, so I have to try and hustle him here instead. Hoping for like queen b2 or queen d2, then I would have, would have gone rook d8, a8, and win a pawn. But now he's still blundering a pawn, so I think I'm gonna win this one still. No, he hasn't blundered a pawn. He he's got queen f1 now. It's clever. I actually still blundered a pawn. I go king g8, and he cannot pre prevent rook h1 winning a pawn. But now I feel like I'm gonna win it. Practically speaking, with the time situation and everything, it's a it's a win. Yeah, h5. That he's not gonna stop that pawn. Rook f4, so nice to have such a safe king. And h2, there's no perpetual after queen f4. I go here and then I go to h7. And after queen f6, I would have put the queen on f5 with via e4 with check. Okay, moral of the story. Don't give up, even when you're a queen down for just a rook. So I said I was gonna accept last pawn's challenge earlier, and now I have. So there you go. Let me try the queen's gambit. Gives me a pawn, and I'm gonna take it. No, you shouldn't do that. Last pawn standing. Yeah, e3 is not good when you when you've already uh, played g3. C5 was perhaps a bit sloppy. I'm I'm gonna exchange queens. Why not? Give him the illusion that he's going to make a draw in this ending. Which you are not, even if you play to the last pawn standing. Castles is not going to be any fun. Knight c6. Eyeing knight e5 and he's going to have to make more concessions like f4 or bishop e5, b5 giving up the bishop pair which you're never happy to do now his only move is bishop b5 no this is no good i can at the very least win an exchange but i feel like there may be more in the position yeah who cares i want the exchange Then I start going with the other knight. Asking him asking him for one more dance. So 
keeping it simple, exchanging pieces, and exchanging a pawn up. Yeah. Not too much to talk about here. But let's see if I can show some half decent technique. Nah, I shouldn't take it, giving him more space. Rook d8 if he takes, bishop f3, got the threat of rook c3 and mate. And here his knight has nowhere to go. Let's go back. I win another pawn. And uh, yeah, I can go rook c1. That's a bit dull though. I'm gonna go rook d2 instead. If he takes in c8, it's mate. Okay, I'll have to take. That was dumb. Moral of the story is never refuse to win a free piece when you can. It's always a good idea. Don't try to be too fancy. But I'm not going to get punished for my sins. I still have an exchange and I'm also a bunch of pawns up. One, two, three, four, five pawns up. Let me see if I can get all of his pawns. I can be the sadistic type sometimes. And he's gonna play to mate, apparently. Which is fair. No, he lost some time. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna play few more feeling a bit tired at this point chess warrior 04 Abdul Satarov wow so 04 is his birth birth year another very strong young talent let's see if he's got something against the Scandinavian I've gotten such good positions in this line that I c simply cannot stop. He's got h3 as well. Clearly that is what the young guys do. Well, he's not protected. Against b5 at the very least. Okay. This makes, I guess, a lot more sense. Queen d5, why not? Don't want to simplify the game. And then I do simplify on the very next move. But I want to simplify in my terms. I like this, slightly improving my pawn structure. I have to say I quite like my position. Very flexible. Unless this move just ruins everything. I'm not sure it does. Rook g8. Trying to play dynamic chess. A B. A B I can go rook g2. I don't see why I cannot, but I can also go A B. Bishop b5, king a7, rook a8, bishop a8. Doesn't look bad at all. 
rook g2, there is knight d2, knight h4, I actually don't see why it doesn't work, but okay. Knight d2, it's a funny little perpetual check with rook f2, king f2, queen g2, king e3, queen g5. But I want something more, don't I? Have I got it? That's the question. A, B now, then... Uh, Yeah, a b he's got bishop e, rook a eight, bishop a eight, bishop b four. So I don't think I can do that. I don't think like. I can morally allow myself to just take the perpetual. Oh yeah, I have to. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Taking on d4 and hoping for the best. Takes everything on a6, f2 is hanging and d2 will be made, so you cannot do that. But it feels very, very shaky what I'm doing. Knight b3, queen f4. I'm not too sure about knight b3. Now he's got nothing. Unfortunately, I have little time. That's the. Uh, that's the one thing that could become a problem here, but my position is winning. I can say with, with absolute, absolute confidence now. Bishop f3 is a huge threat. I think you should go bishop b5 followed by queen d2. Try to grovel. Okay, let me just win a pawn. Fairly simple from here. King is very safe. Take h3, why not? I'm a bit short of time. And he lost some time. Wow. Well, I thought it was a nice, complicated, complicated game. Okay, I thought I saw another Grandmaster. When I beat one, I'm thinking that, that I can beat another. Dresser. I think I played Dresser before. Cristobal Henriquez. I think he beat somebody in the in the Battle Blitz Cup. Don't remember who. But I'm sure he beat somebody. 
So this time I'm going with the uh, Trimpovsky, transposing, uh, transposing to some kind of pretty standard Tora stuff. Obviously, quite harmless, but nevertheless playable. I don't know if this F4 move is any good. I pretty much just came up with that right now. But we'll see how he responds. So queen f3, the idea of that is obviously to deter him from going uh, from for an early um, knight e4. He goes to the, with the knight to g6. Apparently he's intending to uh, to castle uh, queenside later on. Interesting choice, not necessarily bad at all. H4, I think you should maybe go H5 now. Huh. Yeah, now I'm going to castle queen side. E4. I don't care one bit about that pawn on h4. You can have it. He doesn't want to have it. I'm not sure I had anything concrete there. I was just bluffing. But it's one of the perks of being me. You can bluff people because people have so much respect. Queen f7, this looks pretty nice. No convenient way of defending g7. And all looking rosy, hunky dory, etc. etc. Knight h7 is probably the best chance, but yeah, this is just positionally hopeless for him. Take g7, after rook g8 I don't go queen h6 because of knight g5, I just go back. Knight f4, protecting g2, activating the knight. Now, oh, I was going to say knight. G6, but that's not the one that's pinned. Okay. No need to overcomplicate this. Should I be putting my pieces really? I want to go. I want to do this. I want to bring the knight to e3. win technically. Nice and easy. Oh, I had knight h5 there already. Maybe I don't. Take everything. Take some g3, rook d8. I don't want to allow that. Making some random move instead. too impressively but my position is still so much better that I don't think it's gonna matter
I have to say this guy is fighting extremely well. From a very very bad position. But it's not it's not going to be enough. But he's doing very well. I can understand why he won his match in the Mantle Blitz Cup. Yeah. Okay. But he played very well at some point, but unfortunately for him I had way too big an advantage to uh, uh, that I could squander it. Okay, let me see once again, just a few more. Okay. Chukon. From Uruguay. Going on a tour of South America now. I played Argentinian, Chilean, and non Uruguayan player today. Okay. Standard English. Really? F6? Should go F5. It's probably a mass slip. I would say. Guess. Now there is a serious hole on, uh, on E6. Trying to induce h6 because that would have weakened g6 as well this now i'm really looking for a knockout blow already and i think this one is pretty convincing yeah let's take an e7 he just has too many weak scores in his camp Take on c7, g5, but I got knight f to d5, bishop d5, winning a queen. I think it was a case of ambition without ammunition on his part. He wants to push those pawns, but... Okay, let me have a rematch with the real Slim Chuck Norris. I think I made a draw against the real Slim Chuck Norris earlier on in some kind of uh, um, some very complicated game. Maybe I'm mixing up with somebody else. Let me try the same thing that I did in an earlier game. But you should go e3 instead of bishop b2. At least, at least that's what I was th taught. That in this case, black gets a comfortable position. Playing quickly, like pretending that I know stuff, which I actually don't. Uh, but, can I d4? Yeah, stuff it, we're here to have fun. Thinking of knight d5, knight d5, bishop d4, uh, knight f4, bishop h5, king e7. Well, what I can say about that line is that it's not convincing. <laughs> oh. Now I scrolled again. I'm not supposed to scroll. But I think that was messed up already, so who cares? Take. Ah. Uh, that was dull. I wanted him to really go for it there.
I suppose he has good compensation here, but yeah, it's a bit boring, no? Maybe he has very good compensation. I think he has a very good compensation. Oh boy. Am I going to be on the wrong end of a miniature here? I cannot think anymore. Play simple chess castles. Queen d3 can always be met with uh, with um, queen h5 check. So I have to think, try and castle myself. But it looks dubious, very very dubious. But maybe I can sort of survive. At least it's not so easy find solutions in a short amount of time. Okay. Bishop p5? Is there some simple refutation? I don't see it. Takes, takes, rook d1, king c8, rook c1, bishop x. And to my eyes, it looks like I'm keeping my head afloat. Queen d2, then king c8 is bad because of queen a5. But I got king e8. It doesn't seem to be a disaster. He can go bishop g7, trying to simplify here, but then I go bishop c4, and I should not complain. In general, I'm, if I get rid of this pesky knight, then I'm not too unhappy. Queen a5. Yeah, this is okay. b6, I guess. Queen b5. Well, I have... I'm simply consolidating as far as I can see. Well, I have a6. Opportunity to play a6 while I can, no? Yeah. Okay. At least I shouldn't just think long about it. That's the one thing, that's for sure. I think he has to trade. This should be... Uh, should be a win. Why did I do that? Okay, this is easily winning. I have plenty of time to, to win here, so... Yeah, I got my revenge. Last time was a draw in a pretty insane game, but now... Uh, it's the next Carlson 2008, but fortunately that was a five minute game, so... Okay, a grandmaster, Srinat Narayanan. He's a very good player, actually. Apparently, hasn't played a lot of, a lot of blitz to have such a low rating. But sure, by now people are preparing from the Scandinavian. Three. Is this some kind of joke? That everybody's doing h3? Because it's not obvious to me that the move is so great. And if the move is not that great, why is everybody doing it? Maybe the move is great and people are just not... Uh, 
Uh, if the movie's not great, then why are people doing it? Maybe people are they they're not managing to prove why it's why it's great. Oh, ninety two. That doesn't impress me much. Got a nice way of losing here. Queen b4, c3. What am I talking about? I thought knight b d3 was trapping the queen, but I have queen a3. But anyway, that wasn't convincing, so. Yeah. Let me. Try and have some fun. Knight f7, I'm gonna go queen f6, knight h8, knight f4, takes everything, and who knows what's, what's happening. <laughs> Truth is, I'm probably lost after queen h5, g6, takes, long castles. Yeah. It looked fun at the very least. But now... Now I'm just winning a pawn. You gotta go for it, mister. Otherwise you're gonna be left with nothing. Now he's just lost. Pawn down, no compensation. Such a pleasant position now. Everything so pleasant now. Trying to create a counterplay, but I don't know where it is. C4, why not? A5. Knight G1. Showing some creativi creativity at the very least. Knight B6, intending B4. Also intending bishop e4, which is probably an even more pressing issue for him. Yeah, I'll give that check. Why not? e5, exploiting the pin. Just take on d4, bishop f6. Knight dc3, queen c3, knight a4 or b4 is mate. Don't even have to take his rook. No, that was not his best game. Or, well, I'm assuming he's gonna resign, so. That's why I'm saying it. Okay, let me play two more and then I'll be off. It's been a long session already. It's been a really long session. Okay, there we go. The next Carlson has now come to his or her senses. And, well, his Fabian Schummel. He was actually born in 2008. Maybe he's going to be the next Carlson. But is it going to be the next Henry Carlson, maybe? Who knows? Okay, I'm going to give him the same treatment. The Scandinavian. Let's see if he's come up with uh, with some brilliant new ideas. Seems to be playing confidently. Now, bishop b3 is too passive. This cannot trouble me. He's got a solid position. There's nothing 
inherently wrong with this play, but yeah, once again, it's just too too passive to uh, to give me any problems. And I think in search positions, black is fine long term, so he has to come up with uh, short term solutions in order to uh, to prove his advantage. Otherwise, black is just going to be doing well positionally. Take on g2, c5 is coming, it's all very pleasant. Queen d7 was more precise than c5 next, because you know, now I have to, to take back with something. That was a bit sloppy. It would certainly have been better to uh, certainly have been better to give the check first, but I'm still a bit better in that sense. No worries. Rook d8 didn't seem to me that he was going to prevent knight bishop c3, so I decided to. To wait one more move. So I can check, then take on f3, take on c3, but I think I'll just rather take immediately. And now I have the safer king, which uh, regular listeners to this show will know that I appreciate greatly. It's not so easy to exploit my advantage though, because he is gonna uh, he's gonna try and exchange everything on the d file, so that's why I'm doing this. It's probably stupid, but at least now I take back with the queen and I win the file, only open file on the board. Which should uh, Yeah, give me a stable advantage. But he's playing very well so far. After an opening where he played a bit too passively, he's done very, very well to exchange pieces and alleviate the pressure. And he's only a little bit worse now. But yeah, I guess I jinxed him because he just blundered a pawn. Queen g2. I could just have taken it also and then rook d2. Winning the rook ending, but yeah. I saw queen e5 winning a pawn and it didn't look any further. Take, change, now with two pawns up and the queen ending, shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, just gonna push those pawns. Could also go queen f5 or g6 or whatever. This pawn is not going to be stopped too easily. And why not just exchange queens while we're at it? Creating another pass pawn or just queening the pass pawn that I have. Okay, so there we go. Last one, Mareko, I played before. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, why not? Hello, nice to meet you. It's going to be the last game of today. So better make it a good one. Let's see if I get another Scandinavian here. I'm so excited to be playing these positions. I'm going to start playing it in classical pretty soon. 
This is the new rat, by the way. The rat is no more. It's now the Scandinavian with queen b6. A6. Let's see what he's got. Maybe this b5 move was a bit dubious after bishop g5. Could have played something more sensible there. But okay. Shouldn't be too bad unless some d5 stuff is breaking through, but I don't think so. I can just take it. Okay, some knight d4, I think I was going. d5 so unless he's winning immediately which I don't see how I think my position is, is pretty okay it's a bit scary to castle into a potential attack, but I don't think there's too much danger. Ooh, maybe d5? Oh, now I'm for sure pretty safe. Did I get knight d5? I have a difficult decision in case of knight takes d5. I can go Bishop g5, and I, but also bishop, bishop d5 has some merits. So bishop g5, thing I'm worried about is, well, first of all, there's queen h5, sort of forcing h6, which I'm not really crazy about. And also, if he goes to e3, the knight goes to e4, and I'm not really sure that my bishop is actually better. So I think I'm just going to take the bishop instead. F4. Okay. C5 maybe? Maybe C5 is a positional mistake. It could be a positional mistake. I'm not sure I can explain you why, but I feel like it may be a posi positional mistake. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm going crazy. Wouldn't be the first time. Rook f1? What are you doing? You had such a nice position. Now you're ruining it by... Rook e8 looks a bit strange. I'm not going with the other rook, but... I thought... Somehow in these lines protecting f7... Is quite useful. Now I'm, I'm just a safe pawn up. I don't understand what he was doing. Hello, nice to meet you. I would say, hello, nice to take your pawn, sir. Yeah, but taste it very good. I like to taste the pawns. Scent of a woman and a taste of a pawn. Okay. This should be technical matter at this point queen d4 I guess could have exchanged queens with queen d3 e3 as well but I didn't see any reason to do that rook to e1 now I should have a decisive attack queen d5 and hello nice to beat you in the last game to finish with mate okay that's gonna be it folks I think it was a good session, long one, some good games, some bad games. I think I made only one draw against Ivan Sebastian. Recently I've been losing a bunch in this in this uh, Banter Blitz. And uh, as you guys know, I don't like to lose. 
obviously the result is not the most important in these uh, these uh, these uh, little series, but I still don't like it. So <laughs> happy with this one. Uh, yeah, few good games, beat a few good players. So till next time, uh, see you. Keep working on your chess. It's a lot of good stuff out there. Obviously, the new series Fight Like Minus and Chessable should check it out. Um, unfortunately, I'm not fighting so much in the, in the Sveshnikov anymore. Uh, people are playing uh, a little more conservatively there, so struggling to, to create so much fight, but still, there's a lot of good stuff there. So, until next time, see you. Now I will, will be off to India pretty soon and try and atone for my terrible performance in the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz not to to speak of uh, the what, the rapid first random against Wesley Song, which was atro atro atrocious as well. So, bye.